Okay, we're back with the latest in our best All Ireland winners of the last 16 seasons. We've got Kerry of 2004 against Donegal of 2012. Just a quick little recap on where we're at. So, the teams that have gotten through to the quarterfinals are 05 Tyrone 2017 Dublin, 04 Kerry 2012 Donegal, 2016 Dublin are going to be against 2008 Tyrone, and 2007 Kerry against 2019 Dublin. So, you were looking at the, this Kerry team in 2004. Well, we, as we went through it, the thing that struck you was this was a poor enough carry to actually win in All Ireland. And as I was looking at it, they had a very handy run through the year. Yeah, well, like I'm speaking in relative terms, like I, like anybody that's won in All Ireland or played in an All Ireland is seriously talented, obviously. But they were missing Seamus Minan, they were missing Darrow O'Shea. Like, would you would you win a really really hard earned All Ireland without those two in general? No, you wouldn't. Um, you you call out you call out like the midfield was was Owen, Bre- Owen Brosnan and William Kirby like like both like fine players particularly Brosnan who had a lengthy career with Kerry but like you're, when you're when you're going back through like the top twenty or thirty of the last uh, of the last you know twenty years or that they'd be at, like they'd be well on the fringes do you know what I mean so if you're looking looking at like just go just go through the full back lane again. Actually, while I'm doing that, I'll just quickly, just to back up your point, just run through the path that year, which was a Clare team that wasn't exactly pulling up. Um, um, you had the Cork team, Limerick. I mean, Limerick were a bit better back then. Then you had a Dublin team that wasn't exactly flying, Derry, and then a Mayo team that scored 2-9 in the final, were beaten well, and still in all, the scoreline probably flattered them. So just to, to give you that... Um, that back line that you were asking for there, the full back line was Thomas Sullivan, Mike McCarthy, and Aidan O'Mahony. So I'd say that is a pretty strong back line. Uh, Tomas O'Shea, Eamon Fitzmaurice, Mark O'Shea, Owen Brosnan, and William Kirby. As we were saying, you had both Seamus Moynihan and Darrow O'Shea injured. So if you put them in, that's obviously there's far more of an iconic look to it and spine to it. But that forward line, Liam Hassett, Declan O'Sullivan, Paul Galvin, Colm Cooper, Darrow Canada, and Johnny Crowley, that can't be sniffed at. No, no, it's a decent forward line as well. I'm only kind of trying to trying to pick holes. You're basically saying that they're missing their two best players and they were still able to win All Ireland and win it relatively comfortably. Do you know? Whereas uh, Donegal's pat in 2012 they had a fairly fairly tough pat to the All Ireland final. If I'm if I'm looking at just even the quarter final onwards, uh, they obviously beat Kerry in 2012 in the quarter final. They were ahead. Ahead by a handful the whole way, and then Kerry came with a surge at the end, but they held on. They they beat in the 2012 semi final. I am after forgetting who they beat in the semi final, but they beat Mayo holding on the semi final or holding on in the final after getting two early goals. And for the life, they beat Cork. Sorry, they beat Cork, who were All Ireland champions two years previous in an absolute belter of a game. Colin O'Neill played probably his best game for Cork that day. It was nearly a one man attack against them. Um, but that's a that's a hard hard earned pat through to a final and a hard earned pat to an All Ireland and you probably couldn't say the same on the Kerry side. The interesting thing is when they played in 2012, that was Jack O'Connor's last game as Kerry manager, Kerry senior manager, and obviously Jack was manager in 04. And if we're pairing them up here again, it would be Jack against Jim McGuinness, which I think is um is an intri- an intriguing one really, and it's a total clash of styles. Yeah. With regards to how the two counties play football, uh, particularly back then, um, that was of course when uh, Pat Bland started talking about Donegal as you know he's after watching Shiite football, and that kind of thing. That was McGin- the start of McGuinness. It was against that. I think that was against Antrim in the preliminary round in eleven. But they developed it, and in in two thousand twelve, like he just he just didn't think they were going to be beaten. Uh, nobody could break them down and he just, when they swarmed forward, swarmed forward in droves, like we hadn't seen that the year previous and when they did that, no team was able to defend against it. But you're putting that up against, like Kerry, do, Kerry one of the big things in Kerry is that they always stick to their style, which is absolute bollocks in a way. Like, because when they won the 2014 All-Ireland Final, they went totally like they went totally off what they always do. Total football, we'll play a win in the right way. That was like they did they did not, but they did what they had to do to win against Donegal. Interesting that they played in twelve, Donegal won, and that they played in fourteen final, which was McGuinness's last game, and uh Kerry won. But it would have been so interesting that all four team against the twelve team, how would Kerry have adapted to 
tactically to what Donegal were doing because they didn't adapt tactically at all to what Tyrone did to them the year before. Mm, absolutely true. I'm just going to bring up that route that Donegal had in 2012 because it was it was treacherous enough to even go back to Ulster. So they had to play Cavan, Derry, Tyrone, Down. And then um, I'm just going to look at that team since we looked at the Kerry team. Let's look at that Donegal team. So uh, Paul Durkin and goals, Papa, Paddy McGrath, nicknamed Animal, Neil McGee, Frank McGlynn, Eamon McGee, Carl Lacey, Anthony Thompson, Neil Gallagher, Rory Kavanagh, Mark McHugh, who was obviously playing sweeper, Leo McLoon, Ryan Bradley, who went away to the Middle East, but he was he was an excellent player, uh, Paddy McBrearty, Michael Murphy and Colin McFadden. So it's fairly star-studded, and I think there's probably fewer holes in that than the 2004 final version of the Kerry team, which obviously would have looked an awful lot stronger with Moynihan and Darrow O'Shea if they were fit. That's a, br- that's a brilliant Donegal team, in fairness. Very, very hard pick holes through it. Of course, in the final against Mayo, they went with Murphy off top. He, he'd, ve- he'd, you know, mixed between midfield, centre forward that year. They threw him in full forward. Uh, they threw him in full forward on Kevin Keane, which I thought was a funny, a funny matchup uh, for Mayo to go, go with in that 2012 final. And he got that brilliant goal after about 30 seconds a lovely crossfield ball that Carol Lacey that they basically said they've been practicing in training all year be interesting to see uh, like how frustrated would the Gooch have gotten with the lack of space you know how frustrated would Daryl Canage and these boys gotten with the lack of space how would they have counteracted what Donegal were doing because it's okay uh, when you have had time to think about it and you've seen them and studied them and got loads of time, you know, in the winter to look at it. But when you're dealing with that on like two or three weeks notice, very, very interesting. Actually, interesting uh, comments from Pat Gilroy uh, last night on a, in a podcast where he said Donegal had totally like dominated his thinking coming into the all Ireland semi-final. He actually admitted to taking his eye totally off Mayo. And because what Donegal were doing were, was so kind of revolutionary and no one had seen it before that he was kind of thinking, like, geez, I, I, like, I know it'll be three weeks to the final after this game, but I need more time than that. So he almost started studying Donegal before the semi-final. Um, and that, that in, a, in a roundabout way, they were caught because of that. But that's just what Donegal put that fear in teams. Nobody, it's just like nobody wanted to have that suffocated feeling. Like, like Cork had in that semi-final and like many other teams had. So it would have been a fascinating clash of styles. As far as I'm concerned, this has to be the Donegal team because not only was that that 2004 version of Kerry probably not the most classic of the teams they had had and it was very good, obviously missing those two players, but this Donegal team actually changed football. That Kerry team the previous year, the change of football had basically, you know, kind of unseated them. I think... It's got to be Donegal. They change football. So dynamic, so powerful, relentless runners, brilliant scorers, brilliant half back line, brilliant man markers, excellent midfield. I think it has to be them all day. Yeah, I think there's better Kerry All Ireland winning teams in the quarter final mix than the 0 4 team. And I think coming up against Donegal, as you said, totally revolutionised football at that time. Total, like, uh, revolutionised football for you know, a good handful of years after this. And I just don't think Kerry would have. I just don't think Kerry would have been able to handle them. You read out that forward line. I just don't think they would have gotten the space. The space that Donegal team in their pump. No one was able to. Uh, no one was able to react to what they were doing. And uh, I just think Donegal would have edged it. Yeah, it would have been some fascinating battles there. You know, Michael Murphy against against Mike McCarthy, Harry McBrearty against you know Aidan O'Mahony, some re- uh, Colin McFadden then uh, the other corner against Tom O'Sullivan. Jesus, that would have been uh, that would have been a fair battle. We talked about Kerry full for- uh, full back line, but that's a fair full forward line, an intriguing battle. But um, yeah, I'd be giving the edge to Donegal. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to put the vote on, out on ourgame.ie. There'll be a, a poll underneath the video and you can decide. And obviously the, this is ongoing the whole time, so we have more quarterfinals to, uh, to come and then obviously ultimately we'll find a winner.